Hello everyone, it's your favorite realtor, Erica Hernandez with Houston Top Realty. I thank you for joining me this week and every single week. I love to post educational videos to keep you guys informed on all things real estate. Today I wanted to address a very commonly asked question by homeowners, which is how much is my home worth? If you'd like to learn more, please stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Erica Houston Realtor, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. And go to my website at www.ericahoustonrealtor.com. All right, guys. So on today's video, we're talking different ways to find the value of your home. Number one, we'll talk about using a realtor. Number two, we'll talk about online websites that offer this feature. And number three, we'll talk about paying for an appraisal. All right, so number one, if you want to find the value of your home, one of the options is to hire a real estate agent who is an expert in your area. What real estate agents and realtors do for you is create a CMA, which is a comparative market analysis. What we include in this report are the most recent sales that are very close in the age of your home, the square footage of your home, and the condition. Make sure that if you decide to hire a real estate agent, have them create the report come over to your home to take a look at it because most times if you just send a report and you haven't actually seen the property, they might have missed either something amazing that your home has to offer or they might have overvalued your home if they missed some things that need some attention in your home. Make sure that your realtor explains every individual cell that is in comparison to your home and make sure they're explaining why it is a good cell to base your values on. For example, your house is 3,000 square feet and it's 2010. You wanna make sure that that realtor is showing you houses that are very close in age and have similar upgrades. If the house this realtor is showing you does not have the same upgrades you do, you possibly have better flooring. You might have a better kitchen, custom cabinets, or better countertops. You wanna make sure you're getting credit for those, so make sure that that realtor is comparing your house to a very similar home. It is very possible that there is not a home exactly like yours, but there could be a home that is a little bit better than yours and one that's not as nice and we wanna make sure to get as close as possible. If we feel you're pretty darn close to the house that is actually better than yours, we'll price really close so that we can test the market. The ultimate answer to the value of your home sometimes is how the public reacts to it. If we see that a lot of people have interest, the values actually go up instantly. Supply and demand also affect value. We could come and do a report and tell you what we think your house is worth, but then we put it on the market and there's so many things going on on the market that people don't really see the value. People might think, sure, I do see how that value of that home is justified. However, I'm not willing to pay that much right now. This is a hard truth reality, guys. So you just have to make sure to pay attention to everything. Sales, what's happening to the market. Instead of just getting an opinion of one person, which most people tend to do if they feel pretty confident and pretty comfortable with that person, but if you have a feeling that the numbers are just not quite there, you are free to interview at least two more agents free of charge. Most realtors come give you a value of your home, no strings attached. All right guys, number two, another way you can find the value of your home is to go to online website. This is probably the scariest thought for me as a realtor and I'll tell you why. When you hit the internet and you start plugging in your address to ask for values, even on one website, be prepared to get a bunch of spam email, phone calls, even text messages to your phone. It is really hard to get rid of these people once you have entered your personal information into even one website. They claim it's a free report. However, I'm not too sure, but I feel like they sell your information. I did have a conversation with somebody that said it took months and they regret even putting their address just to have an idea what their house was worth. I do understand sometimes we feel like we don't wanna take up anyone's time just to find out what the value of the home is in the current market. However, it is the biggest mistake you can make for yourself. 
Do not put your information on the internet unless you're prepared to get a bunch of spam calls, emails, all of it. There is one popular website and most of us know that website. I'm not sure if I can say that website name on here, but typically if you go to this very popular sales website for homes, you can click on your address and it will give you an estimate of what your house is worth. I've seen estimates on these websites be pretty accurate sometimes in some areas, but other areas it might be too high or even too low. So do not rely on this information. You decide what you wanna do, but they are out there for you to use them. All right guys, so lastly, number three, how to find out the value of your home by hiring an appraiser. What you can do is find a local appraisal that knows your area well. This is very important. You don't want to hire someone who doesn't really know the area, doesn't understand that a street over, it gets really crazy. We can't use those cells as part of the value of your home. Once you find the perfect appraiser, all you have to do is schedule the home visit. Make sure your house looks beautiful and it's all clean. When they come in, they will be taking pictures and they'll be remeasuring the house to make sure the square footage is right. In your report, they'll actually include cells that are very similar to yours. The nice thing about appraisers is that they are legally able to make price adjustments according to houses that are inferior or superior to your home. They have a way to calculate different adjustments for different things. Let's just say your floor is better than the next house that sold, but it was the same square footage. They're able to calculate a percentage return on investment. So there's a lot of calculations that these appraisers are trained to do. Once they complete the report, they'll send it over for you to review. I will tell you from experience, not all appraisers are created equal. Some appraisers may overestimate the value of your home or maybe even underestimate the value of your home. This is the most expensive way to find the value of your home. My advice to you is if you do hire an appraiser, maybe run it by a few realtors as well who will give you the value of your home. That way you have two pieces of information to make sure that the appraiser also didn't get it wrong. You paid them, they should be trustworthy. You just wanna have a second opinion, always. The most expensive route would be to actually hire two appraisers. Now, if your property is very complicated, very unique, maybe I would actually budget to order two appraisals to make sure that the numbers are pretty darn close to each other. You make that decision. Today, I just wanna educate you on the different options of finding the value of your home. All right, guys, I do appreciate your time today. As always, thank you. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Share it with someone you know that may be interested in finding the value of their home. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys next week.